Hi, I'm Rick with NASCO. I'm here to show you an exciting new offering from Cenobot, the L50 Autonomous Scrubber. Uh, this differs from other autonomous scrubbers out in the market. Uh, this uses a LiDAR to do mapping, um, so it'll map your whole building. We can create sub-maps within the main whole map of your building, like, for instance, main hallways or gym, uh, that then you could schedule to go out at different times of the day, throughout the day. Uh, this doesn't require any human interaction to actually start the machine and let it go scrub. Uh, you also don't have to dump it. You don't have to fill it. This machine comes with a docking station. So anytime it needs uh, water and solution, it'll come and fill. Anytime it needs to drain, it'll go back to the docking station and drain out this port. Or if it needs a charge, it has charge contacts in the front. So anytime it is dumping, filling, um, it'll also be charging as well. Um, there is a little bit of human interaction that's needed. There's a couple maintenance points of this machine in the recovery tank here. There's a catch bag that doesn't catch any large debris it's on the floor. Uh, you also need to check your pads periodically. These use uh, magnetic pad holders, so they're very easy to get on and off. And then your squeegee blade needs to be flipped and checked. And that is very simple as well. Simply press this bolt down and the blade slides in and out for an easy, quick flip. Well, let's do a uh, quick scan of this area and I'll show you how the machine operates. So here we are at the main screen. And to do an initial map, which you only have to do once, you go to Admin, Mapping, Local Map, New Map, name it. We'll just give it a simple name. Okay, here we are after I uh, did the mapping. Um, I will save it. Save the map. Okay, now the map has been saved. You can see all the detail just by walking it through the building. Uh, now let's go to auto label where it's going to automatically pick where we scrub. And you can see there are pink lines, blue lines, and purple lines. Uh, blue lines are virtual walls where um, we actually don't want the machine to go past that. Pink lines are permanent walls, and purple would be anything that is actually a movable object, so it might be moved in the future, so the machine knows, hey, this might be moved sometime. I will probably have to clean it at some point. So when we're done, we hit save. And now we'll confirm the save. Now normally you would schedule this on your laptop or off the phone app, but I'm just gonna do a manual map run. So I picked the map that I just scanned, so P, I'm gonna clean everywhere, and we'll hit start. 